Let me show you something really cool. So this is a squash plant. There's a squash that I need to harvest. But what a lot of people don't know about squash is that they have separate male and female flowers. I'm going to show you the difference right now. All right, so let's start with the male flowers. So this is one right here. They're usually the first ones to come out on the plants, and they'll be pretty abundant, whereas the female flowers will show up a little bit later. So the male flowers have a long, skinny stem like this. You'll see it's just nice and thin, um, and they typically are a little bit more pointed upright on most plants. Now this here is a female flower. Now it's already closed up for the day. They're usually open in the mornings, but you can see that the female flower has this swollen, shorter stem because that's actually the beginning of a squash forming. This is another female flower back here that is beginning to form. It's got that fatter stem. Male flower right next to it right here has that skinny stem. So that's the male bud. This is a female bud. And squash and cucumbers and melons, for the most part, they actually have to be pollinated. So you have to get pollen from this male flower and put it inside of the female flower when it's open in the mornings. And typically, insects will do this for you. But if you don't have enough insects around, you could actually do this by hand, going out in the morning, getting some pollen on a paintbrush, and putting it down inside the female flower to make sure that your female flowers are getting properly pollinated. Oh, and the male flowers are actually edible. So if you have a plant that is producing a lot of male flowers, you can just harvest them. And there's a lot of recipes online of how to use these male flowers in cooking. But these rules hold true for the majority of cucumbers, squash, zucchini, and melons is that they will have separate male and female flowers and will need to be pollinated.